A question came into Autodesk support asking how to copy a numbering scheme um, in Autodesk Vault. So if we go and have a look at the numbering schemes and the defined numbering schemes, um, you can see I've got one numbering scheme defined numbering with multiple delimiters. Um, it's been a long standing wish to have a copy button here. Um, we haven't got one, um, but there is a way that you can um, work around it. Um, it's unsupported. Um, so if you get into difficulty, then unfortunately, there's not an awful lot that we can do, but it should work. Um, one thing that I would bear in mind is that currently we don't have any set to default. I'm going to set this one to, def to default, um, but we need to be careful when making a copy uh, using this process. Um, what you'll see is there will be two default um, numbering schemes and as I mentioned, it's not supported, so I don't know what's going to happen uh, if you have two default numbering schemes. Just got to keep in mind that when you make the copy, you need to remove that tick box just in case it does cause some problems. Um, so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to export the configuration, manipulate the configuration, and then import the new configuration, and then we'll see the new numbering scheme in there. So um, first of all, let's export the configuration and I'm just going to put it into a folder, handy folder that I've got. I'll just call it, um, I'll call the configuration file test and you should see it appear here. And that was successful. The test.cfg file is actually a zip file that you can rename. So let's do that and let's extract here. And if I come in here, you'll see there's a file numbering scheme folder. So let's go into the file numbering scheme folder and you'll see that's a file numbering scheme.xml. And let me edit that with Notepad. And so if I scroll down, you can see here is the numbering scheme here. If I do a find and replace in here, you can see that I've done this once or twice before already. Um, so we want to find numbering with multiple delimiters because that's the name of my numbering scheme. And I want to call it copy of uh, numbering with multiple delimiters. So I'm just going to do a replace all. You can see that there were six occurrences of that. So then save that. And we also have an RESX file there as well. So let's have a look at that one. And we also want to do a replace with that as well. So there were seven occurrences there. And let's close and save that. Close, close. Now let's zip this back up again. And add to archive, I want to make sure it goes to the zip format and rename that dot cfg and if i come back here to my database and import the configuration go into the test folder select the test cfg file click open that's going to be successful so now if i come in here and i have a look in here you can see that we have our original one and my copy and this is what i meant about having two defaults um, it's not clear to me what would happen if there's two defaults but obviously the way the software is written um, there can be only one default numbering scheme um, so you just have to be mindful of that 